what we're going to demonstrate is we're going to demonstrate brazing aluminum with a, a torch. This aluminum is a 1 8 inch thick. I got two pieces here. We're going to set it on this wire and get it away from the bench. If I set it on the bench, the bench is going to take all the heat away from it. So you want to keep your pieces up in the air. All right, and then I'm going to set this piece. I have it bent so that it'll stay there. And we're going to use the bare aluminum wire with the flux. And uh, I'll do the burns of matic torch. It's the matte gas torch. Now, what we're going to do is warm the aluminum up. And I'm, going to, I'm going to heat the wire and melt a little bit of flux on the end of the wire so I can get them on there. See that? Then I'm going to take and I'm going to warm this up. And I'm going to put this flux right on there. Now this flux goes from a powder and then to a paste. Now the flux will tell you how hot the aluminum is. When it turns real watery, just like water starts to run, that's telling you that it's ready to, uh, to braise. Later I'll show you a trick on how to tell how hot aluminum is. Doesn't hurt to add a little fluff. We just start to come up the temperature. What you'll see is you'll see the fluff starts running like water. When that gets real runny, you're at temperature. And we're using this torch because a lot of people see how it's running. It's getting real watery. Keep your plane moving. Alright. And this will just kind of lay the, the rod in there. Just kind of lay it right in there. Keeping your torch moving. Now, just keep it, keep it close moving until you see the rod will follow the flux and will sweat right in. You watching that camera, guy? See how that's flowing right in there real nice? Beautiful. And there it is done. Now, what's happened is the uh, flux has cleaned the oxides and the alloy has actually gone all the way through, which we call capillary reaction. Can you get a close-up of that? See how nice that looks? Here's the amazing thing. It goes all the way through. It's on the other side. So what we want to do is we'd like to see, is this strong? Well, let's see. Now remember, this is an eighth-inch aluminum. hammer to it. It will hold every time. Okay, here we are. We're going to uh, raise uh, some thick aluminum and there's some little uh, tips you need to know and we're going to actually fill this hole in. So you can see we got quarter inch plate aluminum. I've drilled a hole in it. So can you fill holes? Yes, you can. Can you weld on large, thick, heavy aluminum? Yes, you can. And what we're going to need is some more heat. So what we have is we have a um, oxyacetylene torch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to light this torch and I'm going to put some black soot on this aluminum. Now a perfect preheat for aluminum is about 900 degrees. But aluminum doesn't turn red or, you know, you're just heating it one minute's there and next minute it's gone. By using the soot from our acetylene torch, that will give us a heat indicator of about 900 degrees as we burn it off, because uh, carbon burns off at 900 degrees. So here we go. We're going to light the torch. And all we're going to do is put some black soot on it. See there? Now we're going to heat the, our aluminum up until that soot is gone. And when that soot's gone, it's going to be 900 degrees, which is a pretty good preheat for aluminum. I'm going to start on the outside here, because this is where the heat is going to go to. Understand that aluminum is a very good conductor, so it takes a lot to put heat into it. Now, as the, uh, when the carbon burns off, 
we have a, a good preview. Okay, we want to, if we can get to the other side, that's fine. Understand that when the carbon burns off, that's the surface that is 900. But it is a good temperature indicator, kind of help you know how hot your aluminum is. So we know that this surface, as it burns that carbon off, is 900. We know that this this goes this bonds at about uh, 1,018. So we know we're pretty close. And of course, we've got our uh, our aluminum flux here. And we're going to uh, always keep lots of uh, flux. Aluminum has an oxide, it's like rust. And the aluminum melts at 1218, but the oxide melts at 3300 degrees. So that's why when you melt aluminum, you'll see a skin on the outside. And there, we know that our piece is approximately in the 900 range. So we have our flux in. And remember, we're watching the flux turn like water. More flux. coming right back out almost as fast as you can put it in there. There we are. So what we're going to do is we're going to grind the, the surface. And there's where your hole used to be. You can polish that up. Nobody, it's a good color match. But it takes a lot of heat when you got heavy aluminum, a lot of heat. And there you go. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to take this tubing and uh, looks like about a sixteenth. We got a sixteenth plate of aluminum there. We're going to weld this tubing onto um, that with the oxyacetylene torch and the uh, flux and the wire, the alloy. Put a little soot on it. So we do a little preheat. Get rid of the soot. So we're preheated up. We'll take our rod and we'll warm it up and stick it in the flux. Melt a little flux. Put it on there. All right. So then what we're going to do is we're going to put this flux on, and it goes from a powder to a paste to a liquid. See how it's running? Getting real runny like water? That's telling you that uh, it's ready to weld. Okay, you can just bring your rod right around. Watch the heat. And the uh, flux follows the heat and the rod follows the flux. There you are, it's all the way around. We'll turn our torch off. I'll cool it down. It makes a really nice uh, finish to it. See how nice that is? Nice and smooth. Now what we're going to do is we're going to test the strength. It might look pretty, but how, how strong is it? I think a good test would be to, we're going to put this in the vise this way, and we're going to Smash that tube, and as we smash this, it should tear the, the, the aluminum weld. Well, let me get uh, too low. As you can see that the weld is still holding and it actually bent the plate. Back in there. 
I'll take the pliers. The weld is going to hold. Best product in the world for brazen aluminum. 